All right, guys, so in the beginning, when you're drawing these loose dot structures, it's very easy to kind of tackle the ones that are just straight chain or linear format or fashion. But what if we get a question that looks like this horrible mess, and it says, draw a Lewis structure for the following compound whose skeletal structure is provided to you below. Don't forget to draw the hydrogens. Okay, well, they're letting you know if you forget to draw the hydrogens, they're going to count it incorrect. So there is a structure... And basically what I need to do is just replicate that. That's all that they're telling me to do, right? I mean, they've done the majority of the work for me. And this is more just practicing using the Mastering Chemistry software platform. That's all that this is. So I need to take this compound and I need to replicate it here. And it looks like the only thing that I have to do, because it says Lewis structure, which is Lewis dot, which means I need to add the dots, the electrons, onto where they need to go. And it says draw the Lewis structure by placing the atoms on the grid and connecting them with the bonds and include all the lone pair of electrons. All right, so if you look at this, there is no uh, very nice, clean template for me to do these cyclic structures like this, right? Uh, I mean, you know, some of the other versions of Mastering Chemistry there was, and there's a chance that that toolbar will show up a little bit later, but right now it's not it's not an option for me. So what is the best way to go about these types of problems? How do I get this thing to go into a ring like this? Because look what's going to happen. If I click on that carbon, and I put that carbon in, and I click on that single bond to draw my next carbon, I want it to go down this way probably, because I would want it to match, and it's going to go off to the side. Side, right and then if I say okay well that's not really where I wanted that uh, what if I tried again okay well pew, it goes there and then here it goes there so it's not really going to give me the freedom to kind of automatically just draw that ring I'm going to have to be a little bit more creative than that and this is how you do this all right so I'm going to click on carbon because that's where I need this bond to go and then I click on the single bonds just for now because I just want this cyclic portion of that structure to be present so I'm going to click this carbon and I'm just going to draw it in the direction I'm going to hold down my mouse button and I'm just going to click and drag in the direction where I want it to go. So that's where I want that one to go. And it's okay if this is ugly. It doesn't have to be perfect, folks. I mean, the system's going to automatically know what you've done as long as you do the right kind of order of it. So I've just connected all of these around freely using the mouse by just clicking the atom, dragging down where I want it to go, and then calling it a day. I'm going to show you another trick that I like to use as well, because a lot of these other atoms are not carbons, they're oxygens, and I don't want to worry with kind of clicking back and forth. I want to do this as quick as possible. So uh, the next one looks like I've got a carbon that's up here, and that goes to an oxygen. So I'm just going to keep it on the carbon, right? Uh, that's okay. I'll change that a little bit later. But I know that something's going to go up there. And then with this one, it looks like something they want me to kind of draw out here and then that looks like it's going to go to another oxygen. There's a double bond. I'll worry about that in a minute. And then this looks like it's going to go down and there's an oxygen, but I'll worry with that in a minute. And then here I'll go up and there's a CH3 group and I'll worry about those hydrogens in just a minute. All right. So there's the basics. That's the foundation of it. Now, the issue, the reason that I kept them all carbons was because look at this. If I click back off of this single bond and I get rid of those, right, I don't want that option. I just want to start assigning atoms. I'm going to click on the oxygen atom. So no bonds are chosen. It knows not to draw bonds for me. I've just only selected the symbol for oxygen. That is it. And if I go over that carbon and I click it, it will just quickly change all of those to the O that I want them to be. And I just have to do that one time and that's it. All right, next up, I want to take care of these double bonds. Again, just like before, if I only click the element symbol, it's not going to allow me to do anything. So I've got to at least click the bond. And that single bond is right there. That's typically where I start. And then if I click that line, that will change it automatically to a double bond for me. All right, the same thing's going to happen here. I'll double bond that one. The same thing there. I'll click that one, that line. That will change that to a double bond. I'm getting closer and closer. Uh, up next are the three hydrogens that's over here at the end. It says don't forget those, right? So I'm going to quickly switch over to hydrogen there. 
And I wanna make sure that my single line is chosen because I want that carbon to be connected to those hydrogens. And there's the three hydrogens that are present on that carbon. Now, the other thing that I've got to worry with are the hydrogens everywhere else. So there's three hydrogens here, and there's actually a hydrogen right there at this tertiary carbon. So I'll click it, draw it. There's two that are located here. So I'll click that one and I'll click it again. And that draws me my two hydrogens. Notice it's not very pretty. It doesn't matter. Next one over, there's a hydrogen here to the bottom left-hand side. I'll click it. It draws it. And then up here, there's a carb or a hydrogen attached to that carbon. I'll click it. I'll draw it. And that looks like I have taken care of all of my hydrogens at this point. Uh, now it's my free pair of electrons. Uh, again, one of the basics of organic chemistry here is that these uh, free pairs of electrons on oxygens, that's typically where you're going to find them. Oxygen wants two bonds and two sets of electrons. That makes its formal charge zero. So that oxygen, bing, bing, there's my two and four and six and eight. And then this oxygen, boom, boom, there's two, four, six, eight. And that oxygen, boing, boing, there's two, four, six, eight. So all of my oxygens have the appropriate number of free pairs of electrons at this point. All right, so if I feel good about this, I'm going to go down here to the bottom. I'll hit submit, and it says, ding, ding correct you got it right so even though it's an ugly structure that is okay the idea here is not to make them pretty the idea is just to enter your answer into the system so it can recognize it as an appropriate response and that is what you're after all right uh, it's finally something else that i want to say uh, on your side when this becomes active you might see a option here that says hint uh, these are, you know, you can click this, it deducts a small number of points, it will tell you kind of what you need to do. I also think that there's a few options in Mastering Chemistry that will allow you to attempt this answer more than one time. If you enter it in first and you get an incorrect response, there is a chance that it will give you a second or a third attempt in order to answer that question the appropriate way. And in doing so, it gives you a little bit of feedback. If it notices that you did something silly, then it will tell you and it says, just make sure that you look at this or make sure that you do this, try it again and re submit it. Some of the answers though will not do that for you, but some of them will. All right. So uh, this is the uh, platform of Mastering Chemistry. That is how you take care of for now these cyclic structures that might come to you in that particular form. So this is more of a manual click and drag in the orientation that you want those atoms to be in. All right, so uh, until next time with Mastering Chemistry, until something else shows up, I'll let you know. But so far, that's our second video on learning how to draw structures in Mastering Chemistry.